All right, today we're comparing my Kramer Beretta Vintage and my upgraded Kramer Beretta Special um, that I've done uh, quite a bit to. Um, if you watch my videos, you know, you can go back and look at the stuff I've done to this. Um, I've done a couple upgrades to this, but nothing major. So it's still basically a stock uh, Beretta. Uh, this definitely isn't a stock Beretta Special. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to compare them and see if it's worth trying to turn this into this or if you should just save up and get this, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Plug them in, get some sounds, um, go through some specs, and uh, yeah, just see how they compare. All right, let's go through some specs first, um, and uh, kind of show uh, what's different about them. Um, well, the color, of course, but you know, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> um, as far as the um, original specs go, um, and I'm not going to include the trim and all that type of stuff because, well, that's obvious. They <laughs> did different, but um, stuff you wouldn't normally see just by looking at it. Um, the uh, Brit. Uh, Vintage here has, um, well, they both have a maple uh, neck and fingerboard, so that is a very similar thing. Um, the difference in the neck, though, is uh, the uh, Vintage has a 14-inch radius, and the uh, Special has a 12-inch radius. And um, I don't notice a big difference um, going from one to the other. Uh, one thing I do notice is the Special um, doesn't feel as finished. The uh, edges of the fretboard are... Um, don't feel quite as comfortable. I mean, I think they may, maybe they roll these over a little bit, you know, just take that little bit extra time. But um, this is totally still very easy, you know, nice playable neck. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's um, as far as the bodies, um, obviously similar shapes, but um, the body woods are very different. Mahogany and maple. Um, and I'm um, surprisingly not as bright as I thought it would be, but yes, definitely different. Definitely going to make your sound different. Um, and speaking of the sounds, they're going, definitely going to be different from this guitar to that guitar because the pickups are completely different. Um, that is, has the stock Seymour Duncan JB in it. This has a uh, Planet Tone Sanctorum. Um, if you're not familiar with Planet Tone, they make some really good pickups. So yeah, definitely check them out. Um, one of the biggest differences is the weight. This thing is so much lighter than this. And I'm sure a lot of that is that maple body. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it's definitely a difference. So if you're not a fan of heavy guitars, um, this would definitely not uh, maybe not be your thing. Um, but yeah, as far as that is uh, concerned, or as far as you know those specs go, that is really um, the uh, the major differences. And uh, I'm sure we'll hear that in the sound samples. So uh, yeah, why don't we do some of them? I should tell you what I did to this. Um, all I did to this guitar was I added a uh, detuner and I'll um, put a trim stop in it so it won't dive bomb. It won't. You can't pull up on it um, because you know I wanted to make sure it was stable for the uh, for the detuner. Um, this guy, on the other hand, I did a lot to. Um, I uh, obviously I put a Floyd Rose on. This had a Strat style bridge on it, and that was a major undertaking and not to be taken lightly. Um, I uh, replaced the pickup. It had just an uh, um, inexpensive pickup that came with it. I uh, put the Planetone St. Torm in there. Um, I wanted to try one. I thought, you know, it was cool. Um, I put the trim stop in, just like the other one, because, I, again, I only wanted it to dive bomb. I just, you know, that tuning stability. Um, and um, the lock nut, the string retainer bar, I had to put those in. Uh, it just had a regular, you know, plastic nut on there. And... Um, I got the, uh, oh, it's missing, I was using it. I put a uh, shred neck, I think it's a shred neck brand name, um, trim tool up there, just because, you know, I thought it was cool. And, um, yeah, so that's what I did to this. To um, Oh, I also modified the pot in there. I clipped a 
capacitor off so it would work better because it was a very like almost on off volume so um yeah but um ultimately the um price that i paid for the vintage is pr very similar to the price i paid for this and everything to upgrade it um i did not have to buy the trim but um i threw that price of a good floyd in with my comparison so um i guess the real question is should you, if you had all the money at one time, would it be smarter to buy the vintage or to buy the special and all of the, uh, and all the things to upgrade it to, um, you know, be similar to that? <laughs> money to either buy this guitar or buy that guitar and all the parts um i would uh, i just buy this guitar i mean it's set up it's ready to go um plus i'm kind of lazy so uh, you know this is just easier <laughs> um but um i'm not saying that that is definitely the way to go i mean a lot of uh, well there's really two factors i think that would be considered in you know doing that instead of this and that would be if you don't have the money and you've only got enough for the guitar and then you have to save it for the trim, then you have to save it for the pickle, you know, that type of thing. Well, then that's that's the way to go. Or you just have to keep saving and saving and saving till you can get this. Um, if you do it that way, you have the guitar already, you know. So you can get to know the guitar before you do the upgrade. So that would be, you know, getting the guitar faster versus um, waiting for be able to afford this. Um, and the second thing is, if you do go with the special and then all the upgrades, can you perform those upgrades? Because if you watch my video on installing that Floyd, um, there were definitely some issues. Um, or do you know somebody that could do that for you, and then would you have to pay them to do the upgrades? So, um, yeah, there's a lot to consider, and ultimately, if you can save up for this, that's you know, the way I would go. Plus, I think it's just a little bit better made overall. You know, like I was talking about the neck. The neck um, I think the necks feel good on both, but, yeah, d that, definitely that edge, where it's kind of rolled over a little bit on this and not, uh, not on that. Um, I think is definitely a uh, um, the, but one of the deciding factors for me. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm babbling. But you know what? That's what I do. I babble about guitars. Um, so yeah, if you don't mind a guy babbling about guitars um, and, well, any guitar-related shit, um, please hit that subscribe down there and help me grow the channel. And um, yeah, otherwise I'll see you in the next video.